Hey JD here, I'm just going to show you a sneak preview of something I'm working on. I'm in the dark. I'll just turn the light on and you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I think my autofocus is going to go a bit nutty trying to focus on that, but uh, that I think is uh, 320 by 240, there we go, there goes the autofocus. And I'll just show you a couple of the bits. Alright, I've got to be careful here that I don't destroy uh, my camera uh, by getting the wrong angle or bumping something, uh, but you can see the laser is more or less hitting the center of a, uh, sort of rip this off a three dollar, four dollar, five dollar, I can't remember how much um, telescopic inspection mirror and then uh, printed some uh, a holder for it and um, these are I believe they're divided by 64 reduction stepper motors uh, 12 volt, um, you can get them for about five dollars or so off eBay and uh, the uh, gotten a couple of drivers for a couple of dollars off eBay as well and uh, this thing here is a uh, microcontroller freescale uh, MC9S08SH32 and just uh, power and the debug header nothing fancy going on there and uh, yeah so um, printed the mirror holder there goes the autofocus again and uh, and then a holder for the um, pan motor and a uh, sorry for the tilt motor and uh, and then a base for the uh, pan motor. Yeah, uh, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll try to show you ultimately what I'm going to try to do. All right, this is just on an ordinary bit of um, foam, uh, reinforced foam, uh, and the glare's a bit too much to see uh, where the spot is, but uh, there is a laser spot there. Uh, it'd be nice to sort this out so that I didn't have to work out. Um, keystone angles or anything but I'll just uh, replace that okay it's uh, I think it's gonna be rough to start out with it's gonna take me a while to sort out um, angles and mathematics and steps and stuff but uh, hopefully I can get uh, you know some sort of picture or drawing stuff going with that um, and uh, yeah, here's the uh, mount for the laser that I printed out. Uh, it's got a uh, sort of a split barrel thing there, so that uh, if you push the button down and then push it back into the into the split, the split will hold onto the button and uh, keep the laser on. Uh, eventually, I'll probably modify uh, this to uh, vary the intensity of the laser. If I'm trying to draw pictures, I'll try to get some uh, grayscale action happening. Uh, and just before I sign off, a uh, quick shout out to uh, Jason Tordick and uh, Alan Yates for a couple of ideas uh, regarding this project. Um, so I kept saying oh, it would be cool to do this or that, so I'm having a go at doing it.